Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Alma and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. And today I have my weekend garage sale slash thrift store finds. And I think I found some good ones. A couple of bikini bolos that I've been searching for. I believe I found a couple of those to take make note of that. And anyway, a couple of bangers. Um, what else? I didn't get a chance to do a ton of time because I have family in town still. And so just trying to balance uh, hanging out with them, but then also doing what I love and what I look forward to every single weekend. So I still found a little bit of time to sneak out. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. I hope your guys' sales are great. I hope your sourcing is amazing. And leave a comment below as how you guys are doing and what you're doing this weekend. All right, so let's begin. Um, I found a, I'll start with the garage sale finds. Again, a ton of bread and butter, a couple of winners. So let's begin uh, with the garage sale find. I found, I know this is not the, the uh, season to get these kind of like pants. They're like the snowboarding pants. These looked great and they were thin silhouette. They were only $1 and they're by Columbia. They seriously feel you guys like they have never been worn at all. So I, of course for a dollar, I know I'm not gonna list them right now or only because I have so much more stuff to list. So those can wait a little bit. I also thrifted my dress. You probably can't really see it, but it is um, like, it is from uh, the brand Knox Rose. So I got this also for a dollar. It's nice and cool for this hot weather. And okay, so this almost, I don't know. I don't know if it was a fail or not, but it's a Patagonia shorts. These are men's size 29. These are just like some, um, I don't know, they're board shorts, but for a buck, would you guys have left them or picked them up? Like I said, it was just a dollar and they're not the most current style or anything like that, but I went ahead and grabbed them. You guys I already forgot a lot of the stuff I bought um, this weekend. So anyway, I'll be surprised all over again. What is this one? Okay, this is at the same garage sale as well. This is a vest and I believe it's a reversible vest because the tag, was in the pocket, I believe, for a buck. So Lauren, Ralph Lauren, uh, vest, just, uh, let me see, it's cotton, polyester. So nothing spectacular, but for a buck, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and grab that. This is a, one of the bolos that I've heard a YouTuber say that they're pretty, it's a pretty great bikini brand. So it's Frankie's. I only found, this is four bucks, $2 off. Cause it's half off, but um, I only found the top, which kind of stinks, but it's all right though. Um, that'll sell, I want to say maybe 25 to 30 bucks on the top alone. This was also a buck. Single rod sale, Patagonia, extra large. These are like the nylon pants. I think they're like the three quarter pants and I love picking up anything to do with outdoor stuff right now and hiking. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to cover. I really have to slow down on thrifting, you guys. I have so much inventory to list. Um, but anyway, oh, this is just for me, a little Nike running top that's in my pile. That was a buck. Always on the hunt for stuff for me and my daughter. Um, oh, this was a pretty cool find. The brand is cool. Four bucks, half off. A men's like flannel button-up shirt and this is the logo i've showed you guys already but that's the logo for cool great outdoor brand i believe that those are sold at um is it rei okay this is just another under armor little sports bra for me always oh these are picked up from our daughter she already claimed these i've never found this brand before but this is beyonce's brand it's ivy park they're five half off so some little cute running shorts and I think they're they're medium. So she wants them, she claimed them. I was thinking about them, but it's all right. I give them to her. This was probably my fail of the day. So I went to this garage sale and there was a kid selling lemonade and he's like free with a proof, free with purchase. And it's like, okay, now I have to buy something and there wasn't really anything to get. But this was like a buck, Club Monaco. It's a corduroy button down shirt. I've never picked up this brand before. And then when I left, of course, I got my free lemonade. Thank goodness, because it was super hot yesterday. Um, and anyway, I could probably sell this for 15 bucks or so. So I, I just picked it up because I wanted to get some lemonade. And I, you know, I just feel bad when the kids are selling stuff. It's like, you want to support them, whether it's like a treat, a donut or a drink. I always have to get something, but anyway, 
this is a cool find two bucks as you guys know i love doc martens these are kids ones you guys and they do have a little bit of wear on the front but even if i list them for 30 bucks this is a great pickup so two bucks in their size one kids maybe we'll make a little switch to some shoes here let's see what we have okay these are footbeds and I think these are by Birkenstock. Um, these were two bucks, half off. Like I said, my thrift store has a great, great price. So they give me this day, uh, this one thrift store is a different thrift store. All the shoes were like two and three bucks. So awesome deal there. These were also three bucks. They're not in the best shape, but when they're three dollars, you guys, these are keen boots. They're not awful. Actually, they're better shape than I thought. So yeah, she gave them to me for three bucks. Outdoor hiking boots. These and the inside. Look at the insoles look great still. So these are a men's size 10. So Keen is a great outdoors brand. These were also three bucks. Again, these are Merrill. I think it's the same person that donated them. So yep, size 10 three dollars unbelievable that is terrific the rest these are comfort brands um and i told you guys sketch or sell these are in great shape look at the bottom wow i don't think i've ever seen this kind before sketcher there they well i don't know go go got g-o-g-a matte wide fit so that will add some value to it because they are wide but these look super comfy let me see what these are size 10 i bet it was the same guy that donated all of them and i think this last pair might have been as well these are more sketchers three dollars you guys i have to just clean them up a tiny bit are these white as well memory foam let's see size 10 it doesn't say anything about wide it has just a couple of little marks but this these four pairs were all the same guys so they must have just I put them out because I was able to snag all of them for super cheap. Oh, these were corks. These were four bucks, half off, some little clogs. I love selling this brand. I just sold some. Um, it'll be up on my What Sold video uh, that went up just today. These are Merrell's. Where's my other one? I don't know where the other one is at, but these were five bucks. These were half off, so great uh, brand. Merrill is an outdoor brand. I do not know what size they are. I know it's somewhere in here. Probably like a size 10. All right, let's switch back to some clothing. All right, you guys, uh, this might've been another fail. I'm not sure. Five bucks, half off. They are Lauren Ralph Lauren, but they are wool. These are wool pants. And I like the, I don't know if, what do you call this, plaid or tartan, I forget what the pattern is. And they are lined. Gosh, I have allergies still, you guys. Um. Anyway, so I know that I like to pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren and again, for that cheap and because they are wool, had they not been wool, I don't think that I would have picked those up. But you know what, it's okay. What is this? Okay, back to my blazers told you guys that I've been enjoying going to the blazer section and this is Armani Collezioni. it's a size six but it's linen you guys this is linen and I I don't know the different I know there's like Armani Exchange and obviously Armani Collezioni, but I'm not sure uh it says dry clean only I want to say somewhere I saw yep 100% linen linen flax so anyway they have a little bit of shoulder pads so i'm sure that the linen adds value to it but again for like four bucks or so um i'm gonna give that a shot oh these are just work pants for me anytime i can find these on no name brand just black pants i gotta wash those probably to wear them tomorrow what else did i get i seriously already forgot what i got here um let me see what are you here Per, okay is this percy is it james purse or percy i'm not sure how you say it but what made me get this is because the shell says silk 
this is like a I think it's a dress you guys I pick up this brand sometimes but I think what made me get this it's because the material was silk it looks like it's in great condition it's a size USA 12 UK 14 so I'm excited to list that on my mannequin um, put that on my mannequin and photograph it I think that it'll photograph very very nicely okay this is just a shirt for work for me Calvin Klein it's nothing special okay this I grabbed because it's a Chico's this is almost I think this is my size it's 00p and the reason I grabbed this it's because it is new with tags MSRP of $139 and it's super i don't know what the material would be on this one it just feels super silky i doubt that it's silk uh shell rayon polyester uh yep yeah, yeah, that's what it is but this is super adorable you guys so i don't know if i'm gonna maybe try this on see how it fits uh what is this this is just a little purse here four dollars it felt really nice, the leather on this. And the brand that I can see in here was, what is it? It's way in there, you guys. It says Punto Fibia Genuine Leather Made in Italy. Punto. So look that up, you guys. It's probably worth about 30 bucks or so, maybe between 30 and 40. But I kind of almost like it for myself. Super adorable. That would look super cute with my dress today. So. I don't know this is gonna be in my maybe pile it is hot here you guys how are you guys doing how what's the weather like in your guys's area let me know below in the comments this was a no-brainer six bucks this day it was only 25% off at this other store but they're cool Han. cool Han, and they were in great condition I would think on this kind of style I looked up I want to say about $40 or so these kind of loafers so great pickup there Oh, I found these like at a garage sale, just little measuring tape for like 10 cents. So I'll put those in my reselling room. Oh, this is a cute, oh, cute little bikini or bathing suit. I think that I'm going to keep that for myself. It's a Hollister. It's a size small. But the reason why I got it, it's because it was new with tags. And I might try it on, see if it fits me. The MSRP was $49.95. So that's super adorable one piece there. So I'll put it on my trial pile what do we have here okay tummy bahamas so four bucks half off tummy bahamas lined uh, swim trunks these could get you about 20 bucks and it's a great size it's an extra large so great great size there oh more black pants for me for work again nothing special you guys know how i love looking for bags and leather backpacks especially i just love love the color green as well so this, if you guys could feel this, it is so buttery soft. So that right away made me investigate a little bit further. And the tag looked really cool. It's RPS. Um, I can't remember what that stands for. But the resale comps were actually, the sold comps were pretty good. And it was 10 bucks with half off this day. So that was a great just the quality you guys i think i might keep this for myself just for a little bit but just the quality so this is on my on my pile just to borrow it for a little bit then i'll sell it um i think my biggest score was the next find here a harley davidson jacket but check this out new with tags so if you can see Normally it was $225.99. Then it was marked down to $135, right? And then it was marked down again to $33. Then half off of that. For some reason, this had not sold. So what's half of $33? Like $18 or so. You guys, yeah, it's not a leather jacket or anything like that. But brand new with tags. So I need to list this like ASAP. Probably for $200. So isn't that amazing? This is a, what size are you? And it's an extra large men's. Well, I think it's, or is it a women's? I don't know. I have to see what, uh, if it's a men's or women's, because it kind of looks small. 
for a extra large men's. So we'll see about that. Another bag. Again, I have so many things. So I don't know if I'm going to break this up. Oh, this is another item for me. This brand is Eddie Bauer. I don't normally pick that up. But super light, light material. I think it's just adorable for like, kind of like in the evenings right now because it's obviously not very hot in the evenings at all. Um, so isn't that adorable? It fits me so cute, so good too. So I'm gonna definitely keep that. I just think it's cute, the color. I love, I'm loving green and my favorite color is purple, but so far um, I picked up a lot of green lately. This other one is also for, is this for me? I think it is, let me see. Uh, maybe, let me see, Sanctuary. I think the size medium, you know what? Actually, I think I am gonna keep that for me. Okay, it's hot in here now. I'm gonna keep that for me. Um, what do we got here? Okay. Okay, Tommy Bahamas. The reason I picked this up, you guys, because it's new with tags and it's it was six bucks this day with half off, just like a tank top. There's nothing special about it. It's 100% cotton, no 90? 5% cotton, 5% spandex. So I picked it up because it was new with tags and I could sell maybe for $20 or so. That's a great pickup. This jacket I picked up, well, it's like a vest. It's Carhartt, even though it has a logo. It was not made in the USA. I love to pick up the ones that are made in the USA. But this was seven with half off, $3.50. And it's actually also a pretty good size. I think it was an extra, no, it's a large. This is a large vest, so can't wait to list that. That will do pretty well. I want to say for what, a 35 or 40 bucks? Okay, Rock Revival. This is a great jean brand to look out for. This is the Raquel Straight, size 32. This was 15 bucks, half off, so $7.50. Um, I wouldn't have picked it up had it been for $15 because I don't know what how this style resells. It doesn't seem to be like the skinny, which is good. So maybe like the straight. So I'll have to look at comps on that, but um, definitely picked it up because it's half off. The next three I picked up because of, well, style. I kind of like this style as well. And I look at the comps and they did have pretty good reselling comps as well, sold comps as well. This one is a Visconti, Visconti, B-I-S-C. I -S -C. I think it's A-N-T-I. I think this cut this pattern or this brand of men's clothing sells pretty good. I want to say between 30 and 50 bucks for these shirts. And there was a couple more next to it of a different brand, but they all looked really good. This looked interesting. It's Roar and they're size large, but look at the back detailing on this button down. I want to say about 30 bucks or so. And these were only, if I didn't already mention, they're only five bucks with half off that was for all of them and then the last one another interesting brand i think it was the same person toku no it wasn't this is an extra extra large so the the back has big time bling across his bling and i want to say this one was six with half off was three dollars so those men i really don't like listing button down shirts because it's so hard to iron them or steam them so but for that price range and the return on investment that I can get was pretty cool. This seems like a, pr a pretty old free people tag. I got this for six bucks with half off three dollars but with Depop in mind. This is super cute little lined skirt. Super adorable and I want to say, gosh my sitting on my legs so my legs are falling asleep but anyway so that's a, with Depop in mind I got that. Okay, what else? Okay, this was an Eileen Fisher skirt. This was $6, three off. It was not anything um, special, like as far as material content goes, this feels just like a cotton, but it's like a navy blue skirt, long, and I wanna say 25 to 30. Eileen Fisher usually sells pretty good for me. Uh, let me see if I'm good. I'm gonna pull out another bag here. Okay, so let's keep, can, let's keep moving. I'm kind of going through these really quick. Okay, this was a brand that I found for the first time. I've heard other resellers talk about it and I found it new with tags. It's universal standard. This is like a, it's white. 
and I inspected it and everything, but I didn't see that they had any stains because that's kind of tricky getting uh, white, but it was new with tags, universal standard. Had it not been new with tags, I don't know that I would have picked it up. Don't confuse it with universal thread because I think that's like a Walmart or Target brand, but universal standard, first time for that one. Outdoor voiceless leggings, uh, medium, $5 with half off. So I'll give those a go. I don't think that those sell amazing for me, but oh, I found some more black pants for me for work for a couple of bucks. Always looking, always on the hunt for um, clothes for me for work. The next one I got it because I thought the pattern was cool. This definitely needs a good washing. But look at that color block. It's Tommy Hilfiger. It is missing the like the um, string for like the neck or the collar. But that's all right. I like that color block and the tag looks pretty old to me. So that's a size large. So anyway, and five bucks again, to half off. So I'm going to go ahead and wash that and list it. I think maybe 25 or 30 bucks that I can probably ask for that. So we got to get that listed. Let me see what else we have here. Okay, what is this brand? Okay, this is Talbot's skirt. The only reason you guys I picked it up was because it was new with tags. It's a size eight. I want to say this was five dollars. So pretty, like it's a maxi skirt. Again, only because it's new with tags. Okay, I got um, cup some ba a bathing suit here. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to my daughter. This is not the other bolo I was talking about. This is just cup she, but it's brand new with tags. It's a medium. I might have my daughter try it out. Just super cute. I think the resale value of this could be about 25 bucks or so. So I'm gonna put that aside to try on or my daughter could try that on as well. This other hat, I've found this before in a backpack, but never in a hat. So it's Kavu, here we go. Kavu, I think I'm gonna wash this one, you guys. I kind of like it because it's super lightweight. How do I adjust that? Take this, this does not fit me right now, but I wanna go ahead and keep it maybe for myself. Maybe go ahead and try it. How do you, oh, there we go. I don't think it, I think my head's too big for this hat. Let me see. I think it's so, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work very good, you guys. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wash it and sell it. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's too small for my head. This was the next bathing suit or bikini brand that I think it's a bolo. So you guys might wanna look into it. I looked in the bikini section, which I've been loving doing as well lately, and the brand looked really intriguing. It's called, uh, what was it? It's called Beach Bunny. This is a medium, super cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. I don't know that it will fit me but it's a medium and I wanna say these have really great comps, but for fun, I think I wanna try that out too. See how that does. Okay, the next item is a Banana Republic skirt, but the only reason, here I go again explaining, six bucks half off, because it's a maxi skirt and it's all silk. Even if I can get, I don't know, $30 or so, just because of the fact that it's all silk, I got it. Had it not been silk, I would not be buying that. So, Jones, New York. Oh, I think I got this. Did I get this for myself? I probably did. It's a small, but it's new with tags because uh, I know this doesn't sell very well. It only has a $39 tag, but I think I might keep that for me. Put that in my pile. Oh, okay, the next is a Gymshark bra. It's a medium. I found this for a couple of bucks. Very, very, very well, like nice quality, but Gymshark does not sell for a ton for me anymore. Okay, I know this is a, kind of not the best pattern, but it was new with tags, Armani Exchange. And this had a first like a price of $78, they marked down to $59. And then at my store was 10 and half off was five. It kind of feels like silk, but I doubt it's silk. Let me take a look here real quick uh spring of let's see 2020 um i don't know what the material content is i doubt it's silk oh no it's polyester 
So not the best print, but again, it's new. I'll go ahead and try that. Okay, just a couple more things. Okay, we're gonna go back to some shoes now. This is a super long haul. Um, these are some Hoka's. Pick these up at a garage sale for two to three bucks, I wanna say. The next ones, uh, let me see. I think I'm trying them out for myself as well. They're just Under Armour shoes. I think these are four bucks with half off. So little Under Armour sneakers. I may try those out, I think they're an eight. Here's that other shoe that I was looking for, a purple shoe here. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do this one last bag and then call it in the video there. Okay, the next, I've heard other resellers say that they pick up Stitch Fix when it's new with tags. So I picked this up, it was 10 with half off. It's a size small. Gosh, I've got a lot of green today. This also probably fits me. So no, I think it's just, maybe, maybe not. I might keep this, I may not. But anyway, I got that because it's new with uh, tags. The next one I think I also got because it's new, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, six half off and it's uh, $99. So I'm definitely gonna sell this one. It's super cute. I like that detail, that little bow detail right there. Again, more new with tags. BC, BG, Max, Azria. This was a nine with half off, so 450. Just a full zip. And again, a lot of these brands, you guys, I don't really pick up, but when they're new with tags, and um, I will pick them up and because they will move eventually. I'm not saying that these are super fast sellers, but with new tags, it's all right. I went ahead and picked those up. What else do I have here? Or oh, more Tommy Bahamas. These were $68 MSRP, women's size 14. These were five bucks as well. Just really, just some shorts. And these kind of feel like uh, linen. Let me see the North Face shorts here real quick. These were $4 half off. That's a great, great brand. I'll pick it up when I'm picky about it, but when it's for $4. Okay, that's, never mind. Hold on a second. I have another thing to show you guys. Hold on. Harley Davidson shirt. This had a cool print on the back as well. Top four dollars. It's an XL. It does have that other tag ripped off, but it doesn't matter. I think based on that print alone, it will definitely carry it. Um, this seemed kind of intriguing. I told you guys I'd slow down a lot on Spider, but I found this little jacket here. It's kind of it looks a little bit different than your regular Spider sweaters, so I thought that was kind of neat. It's not my size. It's a medium, and I think this is a, only a few bucks, like three or four bucks. But I looked at the comps, they're not that great. They're about 25 to $30 or so. But anyway, I guess I'm gonna end the video there. I don't think I have anything else to show you guys, um, or I'm gonna actually break it up in half. I'm gonna film probably another one because there's still like quite a few things that I have to share with you guys. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Let me know it, what your guys' what my favorite find was that you guys liked the best. Like and subscribe and share the video. And this should be going up midweek, uh, probably on Wednesday. And anyway, enjoy your guys' weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.